Hey, good Thursday morning to you. John Bergsman here at Beck's Trailer Sales in just north of St. John's. If you're looking for an awesome trailer, Beck's has still got them, guys. 1,300 pieces in stock. Largest trailer superstore anywhere in the country. If you're looking for trailers, Beck's is the place. Two great reports today, I promised you. Lake Gogebic in the Western UP with Captain Justin Sofa, one of their local guides, and also a Lake Mitchell and Lake Cadillac report, a local report from JP Matlack. Thanks, JP, for an in depth report and for taking your, your son out fishing. Uh, when you see these pictures, it'll put a smile on your face because this little dude had a day. So first report of the day, you know, I get a lot of questions from people about Lake Gogebic and how do you have success on Lake Gogebic? Because you see these pictures that we send across the screen and Justin Sofa, who's a professional guide up there and has been for years, just hammers it almost every time he goes out. But admittedly, again, Lake Gogebic, like a lot of those long finger lakes, is got a lot of geogra geographic cover to it. So, you know, you can go fish you know, that 90% of the water that doesn't have any fish in it just as easily as you can get into the, or more easily than you can get into the 10% that does. What I really think is important when you're fishing a lake like this is that two things. Number one, you always see me with my Garmin vest on, that's because I'm a believer in live scope, especially when you're ice fishing. If you're ice fishing and you've never used a live scope, the first time you use it, you'll be saving or busting your piggy bank and going and buying one because Flat out, it's almost cheating to be able to put that transducer through the hole and turn it and see a hundred feet in every direction. What are the fish suspended at? Are there fish over there 30 or 40 feet, but none where I'm at? That's kind of the advantage you have with live scope. You can also look and see through weed clusters and see the movement going on and see just how dense the fishing the fish are in a particular set of weeds. So Live scope is really, really valuable when it comes to just identifying that good general area to fish. Secondly, when you're up on Gogebic, you're gonna wanna understand that this is a probably a dead stick tip up lake more than anything else. Sure, you hear a few people catching fish jigging, but most of the fish, the jumbo perch here now, are light line tip upped or dead stick with light line as well. Now you're gonna wanna set those uh, medium sized blues or whatever bait you're using, oh, six inches to a foot off the bottom. That's gonna kind of be the key to catching those fish. If you're, you know, there's days though, here's the key, there's days though that the perch, when you're seeing the perch belly to the bottom, your bait's almost gotta be an inch or two inches off the bottom. So there are days where you literally want that minnow struggling literally just off the bottom. And if and the difference between six inches and one inch on those negative days can be huge. And it's the difference between catching, you know, eight or 10 of those 14 and 15 inch sows or catching none. So understand the mood of the fish by reading your electronics and also understanding that the fish don't want a lot of activity there. They really want that bait just hanging in front of their face. They'll swim up. They might even look at it for, you know, two, three minutes before they just go ahead and decide to take it. Maybe that minnow does one little struggle just wrong and it triggers the strike. But bait setting, in other words, how far off the bottom your bait is, is critical on Lake Gogebic. So right now the bite, 12 to 20 foot flats. You're gonna to wanna to look for softer bottom. The fish have already started to move to that softer bottom where they're feeding right on the bottom um, with the uh, you know angle worms or whatever it is they're feeding out of the bottom of the lake. So soft bottom is gonna be better right now than anything else. Gravel bottom still may have some minnows in it. So you don't wanna necessarily not check it, but right now I would say soft bottom is gonna be the best. Hey, whatever you do, if you're looking to get out and you want to experience this great bite, call my friend Justin Sofa. He's a guide. You can call Tim at the Timbers Resort. The Timbers Resort is right on the shore at the south end of the lake right there in Berglund. Now, the Timbers, Tim and Sarah, have lots of great cabins where you can access the lake directly with your snow machines. Lake, lake is really safe this year. They had really good solid, you know, they got probably eight inches or more of really good black ice, not a lot of snow on top of it. So moving around Lake Ogebic is going gonna, is gonna to be really good uh, going forward. So call Tim at the Timbers Resort, make a reservation. Tim can hook you up with Justin Sofa. Justin works with the Timbers Resort to take their clients out guiding and have a great day on the water. It'd be a great idea for you to tap into what you can learn with Justin. And then in the rest of your trip, 
per se, you can implement what you learn. So that's a great way to learn a new body of water. Either way, get yourself up to Lake Ogebic in the Western UP and enjoy a great stay in God's country. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. So hey guys, next report, we've got Lake Mitchell and Lake Cadillac from the eyes of a local. J.P. Matlack was good enough to share his experiences with, uh, with the little munchkin, his, his, uh, his uh, girlfriend's son. He took him out fishing and guys, number one, you want to get a girl to fall in love with you? Take her kid fishing. Let's be honest. I mean, that's just the best thing. That kid's going to remember this experience for life. These pictures going across your screen tells the story. Big pike, big walleye, big panfish. JP was all over it. I've included some pictures of the baits he was using as well, the colors of the jigging spoons. And so <clears throat> the key here on Cadillac and Mitchell is very much similar to all the other lakes that I always talk about. You really want to have a good starting spot. And that starting spot, you're going to pretty much want to be around some form of weed structure or gravel rock humps. You're gonna to wanna to be around structure. It's too early in the season to just be out there in the middle of the lake by yourself on a flat. The fish haven't progressed that far into their, their migrations through the winter yet. So they're still hanging around shallow breaks. They're still hanging around structure. Now, set up a spread of tip ups. That's the first thing. In Michigan, you're allowed three rods per person. So. Um, uh, JP and his uh, and, and the little guy were allowed six total rods. So if you're going to sit in a shanty and you're going to jig one rod, then you can have four more tip-ups out for a total of six. So JP and, and, and the little guy uh, each have a rod and then four more tip-ups. That's a great way to search. Tip-ups are a search mechanism, especially when you're light lining them with a blue or something like that. Set the things again, six inches off the bottom is a really great starting point because that'll catch walleye, perch, and northerns. If you get closer to the bottom, you're going to really be targeting walleye and perch exclusively. If you want a foot off the bottom, then you're really more targeting northerns that seem to cruise just a titch higher. Uh, also this time of year, a quick reminder, you're going to encounter bass uh, in your catch. Uh, they, they tend to bite really good for the first few weeks of the season. Remember, bass season is closed, so quickly take a, a quick photo and dump that fish right back down the hole because you can't keep bass after January 1. So, uh, Cadillac and Mitchell, if you're looking for a place to stay there, I see this posted a lot, where can I stay? There's two spots, three spots actually, that are all co close to each other. You've got Pilgrim's Village, obviously, on Mitchell Lake, and that's the bait store. Steve and Chris have got a great group of cabins there. The bait store, all the information you need. Right down the road from them, the Days Inn also caters to fishermen. Uh, it's just a nightly hotel, but they really understand that fishermen are a part of their, are, of their customer base, and they really, uh, they really enjoy fishermen coming to stay by them. And then on the other shore, if you're going to fish Lake Cadillac and you want shoreline access, then you're going to want to stay at the Lake Cadillac Resort. Um, that's right, basically right kitty corner from Timbers, I mean from uh, Pilgrim's Village, and that's going to be a great spot on Lake Cadillac. So you got two direct access resorts, one to Lake Cadillac, one to Mitchell, and a hotel up the street. Plus you got the bait store there at Pilgrim's Village for all the live bait that you need. Um, but the bite right now is really good. It's really solid. You know, they're catching lots of slab crappie. They're catching lots of mixed bag walleyes. Of course, northern pike are always going to be part of your catch there. So get on up to the Cadillac region. That first month or so of ice fishing is always the best. Thinking about buying a new boat or UTV for next summer? Be ready now and order your 2022 model early and beat the crowd. Ordering right now will save you money and the hassle when 10 other people want the boat you want that's in stock. It's never been easier to order early and get the pontoon or UTV that you want at Lakeside Motorsports Macasa and Nelson Speed Shop in Greenville. With over 36 name brand manufacturers to choose from, top-notch service department, and a state-of-the-art service facility, why go anywhere else? Be ready. Order your 2022 now. 
So hey, thanks for joining us today. A couple of great ice fishing reports. Tomorrow, Friday morning, we're going to bring you another in-depth report. We're going to bring pan fishing up in Marquette County. Now, Mike Cosiera from uh, Marquette Adventures has just been whacking him. He texted me pictures and said, John, best pan fishing and inland lake trout fishing bite through the ice in 10 years. And Mike's been doing this a long time. So you got to get up there and visit Marquette Adventures Guide Service. Get out there with a family tour. He takes families out on the ice and teaches you how to have a great day on the water. Also, a teaser from Mita Lake Resort and uh, Mita Lake Lodge up there on Mita Lake in Ontario, one of our favorite places to visit. That's going to be this weekend show. Stay tuned. <laughs>